Welcome to Linux Help. Today we are going to see how to create permission based configuration in Samba on Oracle Linux 8.5. Samba is an open source software. A Samba file server enables file sharing across different operating systems over a network. The Samba server configuration is for managing Samba shares, users and basic server settings. First I am going to check the OS version. We are currently using Oracle Linux Server version 8.5. Now I am going to install Samba Server. Now I am going to start the Samba service. Now I am going to enable the service. To check the status, use the following command. It's active and running. Now I am going to create three directories in root. Now I am going to add users, use the following command. Now I am going to create two groups, use the following command. Now I am going to add the users in their respective groups, use the following command. Now I am going to add the users to Samba. Enter the password. Now I am going to enable the Samba users, use the following command. Now I am going to set the ownership for the created directories.
now I am going to change the SC Linux context for files. Now I am going to stop and disable firewall. Now grant permissions to the directories we created. Now I am going to create files inside the directory. Use the following command. Now I am going to edit and make insert the configuration. Use the following command. In share 1, I am giving the permission for user 2 to read only and write for Samba group 1. In Samba group 1, we have user 1 and user 3. Next, I am going to create a rule for share 2. In share 2, I am giving the read only permission to user 1 and write permission to Samba group 2. In Samba group 2, we have user 2 and user 3. I am going to create a rule for share 3. In share 3, I am giving the read only permission to user 2 and 3 and only write permission to user 3 so that user 2 have no write permission and user 1 cannot access share 3. Write and quit. Now I am going to restart the services. Once restarted, go to Windows machine and access the Samba server. Enter the IP address. Enter the username, user1. It's working. Now I am going to check the permission for user 1. As I mentioned, user 1 cannot access share 3. As you can see, access is denied. User 1 can access share 1 to read and write. So now I am going to edit. I am name I am changing the name as file 
it's working in share 2 only read permission for user 1 so now I'm going to edit I'm going to change the name as you can see file access denied now I'm going to change the user enter the IP address Now I am going to enter user2, enter the password, now I am going to enter share1, rename file1, as I mentioned earlier user2 don't have write permission in shar1 in shar2 user2 have write permission it's working in shar3 user2 have no permission to write file access denied now I am going to change the user, enter the IP address. Now I am going to enter user3, enter the password. In every share, user3 have write permission. Now I am changing the file name, file1, it's working share to changing the file name file 2 working share 3 changing the file name file working with this creating permission based configuration in samba on oracle linux 8.5 has come to an end Thank you for watching this video and if you like it, please subscribe to our channel. To learn more tutorials, visit www.linuxhelp.com and if you have any queries, mail us to support at linuxhelp.com.